Hey everyone, happy Friday. Welcome back to my video series on why. Um, if you remember, in my first video I spoke about your why. I used LinkedIn as an example to stimulate thinking around knowing why you do something. So whether it's looking for a job, networking, learning a skill. I introduced the idea of POP, passions, objectives and purpose as a roadmap to understanding your why. My second video was about passion. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't. Um, or maybe you have a bunch of passions. The key thing is really to do something meaningful and valuable. Because passion without meaningful action is useless. And if you don't know your passions, then meaningful action can deliver value and it can lead you to understanding what your passions are. So start doing things. In my third video, I spoke about objectives. Objectives are really a set of milestones that are short-term, time-bound, measurable, achievable. They need to be defined clearly in order to be a roadmap for where you're going. So if you take action without a roadmap or a plan, it's likely to be meaningless and therefore unlikely to be valuable. That leads me to today. I want to talk about purpose. There's two things I want to say about purpose. Firstly, purpose is the reason for doing something, um, or it's the reason why something exists. It's not the immediate expected result of every action that you undertake. It is a, a larger mission, if you will, that's broken down into smaller actions. Google's mission, for example, is to organize the world's information, make it accessible and useful. It is not to build a browser. Purpose is therefore inspirational, it is super valuable, super meaningful. And there might be some right ones and wrong ones. Um, and how would you know if yours is the right one? Well, if it rallies you to take meaningful action, if it rallies people and resources around you, if it makes the world a better place, changes things for the better, if it is, a, if it is an ambition that's bigger than yourself, then you know, probably it's right. The second thing about purpose is that it also refers to your sense of resolve and determination. So being resolute and determined to move forward and keep trying, um, even in the face of hardship or rejection, is the hallmark of having purpose. Funny enough, something that happened to me this morning illustrates this. I received some bad news about an opportunity that I was really, really looking forward to. I was feeling really down and demoralized and probably not in the best frame of mind to make a video, but here I am. So I remember that I'm making these videos for a much larger purpose than just myself. And so even if my immediate objectives have taken a knock, my larger sense of purpose remains intact. So look, purpose is having meaning and mission in what you do and exercising resolve and determination in getting them done. Both of these are fundamentally important to us in life. So here's what I want to end with today. Think back to one of your labors of love. Maybe it was an important presentation at work or a huge project. Maybe it was planning your honeymoon or wedding, building your house. Anything that was significant at some point in your life. You planned it, worked on it for hours, days, maybe weeks or months. And then one day you finished it and you felt this huge sense of pride and achievement. Can you remember your sense of mission and meaning at that time? Can you remember how determined and resolute you were to getting it done? Tell me about your labor of love, your mission, your sense of purpose. I'm grateful for you watching my videos. If they resonate, please comment, please share, please give me advice. Remember, there's one final video coming out next week in this series of why. I will bring together all these three concepts of passion, objectives and purpose and hopefully it will become clear how they will help you in your why. Look out for that. In the meantime, have a great weekend and uh, take care everyone.